Hello, my name is Nicolette Johnson. I'm an art teacher based in Wellington, North Carolina, and today we'll be learning how to make a monochromatic quote silhouette. To complete this project, you will need watercolor or mixed media paper, construction paper, optionally you can have a printout of a silhouette, scissors, a marker, a pencil, a watercolor palette, a glue stick, a quote, and water in a container for the watercolor set. You'll need to have your watercolor or mixed media paper, your watercolor palette and brush, and your water. For this particular assignment, we'll be using a monochromatic color scheme, which means we'll be sticking to one color. The construction paper I chose is red, so I'll also be using red for this project. First of all, I need to hydrate my watercolor by using some of the water in the cup onto the pigment. Give it a minute or two to mix with the pigment. There are various techniques I can use, such as washes, which involves a lot of water and a lot of paint to cover the paper, or I could use less water and more pigment for dry brushing for a rougher technique. But really for this project, you can explore any kind of techniques that you'd like. I think I'd like to start with the wash and then apply polka dots afterwards. You can let some of the white seep through and I could also add black to add a value. But I must only use red. I can't use any of the other colors on here aside from black. And when I do use black, I wanna be careful because it can be quite powerful compared to other colors. I think I'm happy with this, so I'm going to let it dry. To create the background for my piece, I'll need to cut a silhouette out of construction paper. I could try and draw it and I cut it out directly, or you can print off a reference. To make a reference easier to cut out, you can actually glue the dark part down to the construction paper. I can see still that's where the head's going to be, so that's where I'm going to apply glue. Because this is your project, you don't have to cut it out exactly how the image appears, but take your time and be more careful when you get to the face because that can be an important part to tell that it's a proper silhouette. So now that I've glued the face down, I should be able to cut it. For this project, I won't need this piece, but I will need my red construction paper. And now I can set this to the side and go work on my watercolor sheet. Now that I've cut out my silhouette and given my watercolor some time to dry, I can lay the construction paper on top of the watercolor paper. You can shift around the image upside down or maybe back to see which composition and which direction appeals to you more. I think I like this one the best so I'm going to keep it like this. So I'll flip my construction paper over and use the glue stick to glue it down. 
make sure you get the outer edge as well as the inner edge of the construction paper. Then apply your watercolor paper on top. Now you can write your quote in pencil to make sure you have spacing that you like. Make sure not to do the pencil too dark because you'll be going over it with marker and you'll want to spell check before committing to marker. After double checking your spelling and adding your quotation marks, you can commit by using marker to go over your, write, your writing.